Hello, it's been quite a week since I last spoke to you from my home here on 5th Street. It's been a very disturbing week to say the least. And it was uh, interesting to me that our next Bible passage uh, that we're doing on Sunday morning in Thessalonians talked about end times and talked about uh, concerns and fears about death and what happens afterward. And the Apostle Paul uh, told them that, that the Lord would come and, and that um, we would meet him and that we'd be with him forever and that we should encourage each other with these things. <clears throat> Today I was, uh, the, the verse came to mind, uh, Beloved, now are we the children of God and it has not yet been revealed what we shall be, but we know that when he is revealed we shall be like him for we shall see him as he is. There's a song from a musical by John Peterson called Jesus is Coming Again, and it talks about the hope, the joy, even in the midst of the conflicts that we're going through right now, that there is hope that um, one day we will be like Jesus. So we'll pray for those who are trying to speak reason today in the midst of riots and destruction and pray for those uh, who feel that that's the way to make a statement um, and also help for leaders who try to work with that like him <clears throat> Sons of God, are we beloved? What will be, we know not now. Only that will be like Jesus when before his throne we bow. Purifying hope. Oh yes, it makes me search my heart today, makes me want to be more like Him, all I want this pilgrim way, like Him, someday we'll surely be.
will surely be like Jesus. Lord, how we look forward to that day when there will be no injustice, there will be no racism, there will be no terrorists, there will be no rioters, there will be no looting and destruction of property and the taking of people's lives. Lord, we pray that you would hasten that day, but Lord, may we be comforted by these words, comforted by the hope that like him one day we'll surely be. In Christ's name, amen.